In this video, I'm going to talk about the result function within Microsoft Power Automate. Now, result function returns the results from the top level actions in a specified scope action. Now, remember, you can use result only in the specified scope action listed below, like say for each control or until or scope. Now, what it does is it, it accepts single parameter that is the name of this control and it returns an array containing information about first level action so the syntax is basically result opening bracket and then in single quotes the scoped action name now why do you use result now results are basically used for uh, say troubleshooting purposes so take for example if you want to simulate a try catch behavior and if you want to catch the exception in that scenario, we can use result and the result will give you a set of information about why did the action failed. Now here, if you see the output of the result will look somewhat like this. Okay, now this is based on my code. Now it will be different for you. But this is just to show you that how we have, you know, captured the error message within the uh, JSON. Okay, now let me show you an action. Now here I have created one Power Automate flow. Now I'll explain you what this flow does, okay? So one is like it's a manual trigger. Now it has a country array, okay? So it's a string array. Now there is a try block, okay? I haven't put a catch block, but I just want to simulate a try block. Now within try block, there is a looper, like a for each. And this looper is basically looping through this items of country array okay so if you see the looper it takes the output of country array and it extracts the country over here now extract the country over here means it takes the current item so that means in the first loop it will pick australia second loop india and third loop japan now once this information is extracted one by one it goes to another compose method now the compose here i have intentionally created an exception by calling div one by zero so that will generate <coughs> an exception and i want to catch those exception okay now here then i have a send an email functionality so once the try is done uh, there is a send email functionality which does nothing which we are going to fill it now now in order for this to run under exceptional circumstances I will configure run after for say all the steps successful fail skip timeout okay so that this step will run irrespective of any exception which happens within the try block now okay over here just understand this this is a for each loop okay and this is extracting the country and this is the div error intentional div error okay so if the first loop starts then it will first extract the first country and then immediately it will throw an exception okay now this block is a try block so in order to use the result what we can do is we can write a function an expression basically which will have the result function okay so result function now result function accepts a parameter so the parameter name is the name of this control so the name of this control is try Okay, so I'll just write try and I'll save this value and let's see what output it returns, whether it returns an exception or not. Okay. So once the flow is saved, I'll just test the flow manually, test it, run the flow and once this flow is run, it will first iteration and then here in the first one it failed but then the looper first extract country is done but then there's a failure over here and then email is sent let's see what the email we have received over here so the email which we have received over here is a json object so i'm going to copy this and then paste it in a json viewer just to organize it now here if you see there is one element now this element is a looper element, okay? Now this looper has an input of for each item, which we can see three items, input metadata, client keyword, 
and an error. Now the error it says is an action failed, no dependent action succeeded. Okay, so it has given an error message, but it hasn't given specific details about it. Now, what do I mean by detail is if you see closely here, here if you see, it says an action failed, no dependent action succeeded. And same goes over here under the looper, okay? But what exactly we wanted, what happened over here in div error intentionally? Okay, so if I click over here, exactly I can see what has, uh, uh, what issue has happened. Now it, it is clearly telling me it is a division by zero error and, you know, unable to process template language expression. So I wanted this, but I got this, okay? So in order to do that, in order to get this error, what you need to do, like in the result, we have asked for try. But instead of that, you need to ask for the looper, okay? This one, okay? As the uh, passing argument. So coming here, I'll come here. I'll keep this first value as it is. I'll create an another uh, expression and I'll put result. And now this time, I will not put try, I'll put looper okay and then save this value now if you see here so we have used looper so whatever name you put over here you just need to pass this as a parameter now let's run this and see what happens so the flow is saved i'm executing the flow It should send an email with two items. One is with the try element and the second with the looper. Now, if you see here, this is much more detailed. Okay, so let me copy this component and paste it in the JSON version. Here, you will exactly see there are two components, zero and one. Now, the zeroth component is extract country. Okay, so if you see here, zeroth element, in the try and the looper this is extract and this is the zeroth element and this is the first element now here again we are okay with zeroth element because we know what the output is zero one two which is australia india and japan okay so we are good with it so we don't want to see this start time end time and all those are good but the main problem happens in the first component for here now here if you see the output is 0, 1, 2, again, it's a uh, div error intentional. Here, the status is failed. And here, exactly, you will see what the message was. Now, if you see the first element over here, here, the status would be marked as failed. And the error is, again, unable to process template language expression. Now, this is the error we wanted. And we can extract this by navigating to the first element. Now, how to read this is you need to go into the first element, like the first item. And then within the first item, we want outputs. And under outputs, the zeroth element, we want the message. And you can extract the message by passing through the error. So this is like one of the way through which you can extract the exception or the message error message from the flow execution. So that's what basically result does. So result tries to give you a JSON representation of all the activity which has happened within that action, including the error and exceptions. So that's it, folks. This is all about using the result function in Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.